All right, so if you didn't already know, Uzi finally dropped the pink tape. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a song, like something off of that album. Brand new watch, new face. I put out today. Watch the shoppers spray. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram or if you're not in the Discord, you might not know this, but I am uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you want to know more information like that, follow me on Instagram or join the Discord. It's all linked down in the description below. But also make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I upload and you won't miss one. Anyways, I actually already recorded this video and I made the beat and the vocals live. But of course, for some reason, OBS had to crash. So now I'm just going to show you guys how I made it. And honestly, I would just scrap it and make something else, but this turned out fire. I'm going to show you guys what we did. Obviously, we're going for something off pink tape, kind of like in the rage style. And all I did in the beginning was set the BPM to 148 and the scale to D sharp minor. And then we started working in serum. So I actually started with this bass called Virtual from my full circle one shot kit. And I just laid down this bass line right here. And the only processing on that is in our bass just to make the bass stand out a little more because one shot was a bit weak. And then after that, I just played the bass along with the serum patch and I just came up with this pluck. Now this looks like a lot, but all I did was duplicate the top part of the pluck and bring it down an octave so there's some bass in it. And what I did here is I clicked this button, went to view, scale highlighting, and I set it to D sharp minor and I just worked in that scale. And basically what I did, I started this out. If you look at the beginning, it's D and then a G, it's D sharp and then D sharp. Basically what I did is I started at D sharp, the root note of this melody, and I went up one, two, three, four, five notes to D sharp, and that makes a fifth. So that gives you like a very eerie sound, and it just sounded good to me. And then I kind of just placed notes in a random order until I had something I liked. And as you can see, there's like a couple notes, you had literally just two, if I can find the other one, and it's somewhere in here, oh yeah, right here, that are slightly off, just to add a little bit, a little bit of flavor to the bounce. But this is what it sounds like with the bass. By the way, these sounds are from my Cyber V1 Serum Kit, so if you want that, that's always linked down in the description below. But then I copied this over to another Serum Sound, which alone sounds like this. And that was just to add some body to it, because you stack those two together and you get this. And then one more thing I wanted to add it to give it a little extra body was a pad. Now if you play that alone, it's literally just the root note following the bass pretty much. And like I said, that's just there to help fill out a little more of the sound, just so there's no like frequencies we're missing. Everything's filled out. So the last thing I added was actually from FL Slayer, which is just like the default FL Studio guitar plugin, but it's like super aggressive. And I made a super simple pattern right here, just some notes repeating and then some drop out. And it, it just follows the root note pretty much. As you can see, it's this D sharp and it goes to the F sharp and then down to the F. And if you play that by itself, it sounds like this. So yeah, the cool part about making songs like this is you can kind of just place notes anywhere in the scale. And as long as you have an idea for what sounds good, you're going to come out with something that sounds good. Now, as far as the processing goes, all I really did is, so for the first sound, we did a lot. We have a chorus, an EQ, taking out some of the low end, a lot of the high end, and then boosting some of those mid highs. And we have a Valhalla vintage verb, an H delay, just to add some bounce, and another EQ to just kind of mellow that sound out a bit. Now on that guitar, what we did is just, I added a Valhalla vintage verb, fruity chorus, and an H delay just helps mellow out that guitar so it doesn't sound so aggressive. But at that point, I was happy with what we had and we had the full melody, which sounds like this. Now moving on to the drums, I actually used all of Cyber V1 here and I started out with this clap. Added the side hat. Then I added an open hat and three different snares just to add some more bounce. It's really nothing too special, but I was just going for some good bounce here. Now that second snare actually has a fruity reverb on it and it sounds super aggressive, but I'm telling you in the mix, it sounds super good. And of course we're missing that 808, which I just used the 808 called grinning for my kit. And as you can see, it's like super, it's a super simple 808 pattern. And here's what the full beat sounds like.
All right, and then I rendered that beat out as a wave, brought it in. I loaded up my little Uzi Vert preset, the Waves Edition, which has a few different ad lib tracks and as well as a reverb long, a reverb short, and a delay bus. So you have to set those up. Basically what you do, you just drag the main vocal in, and then you shift click this button right here and adjust the reverb and delay. As you can see, I only used three different tracks. I got the main vocal and two different ad libs. And I did make a song live for you guys, but of course, I don't know, maybe I'll try and include it because the camera did record it. So I'll try and include some parts of it, but I don't know, it's gonna be, gonna be a bit hard. Right here, let me show you what the preset sounds like. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As you can see here, there was a, I did a freestyle right at the end. Of course, didn't record that either. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to mute this. And we're just going to make another one. Just do a freestyle. So I'm going to show you guys the full song. It's pretty much it for the video. Stay tuned for Wednesday's upload. But as for now, here's a quick little freestyle. Yeah. Every night, you just get it, we get lit 